having one of those days where we're gonna have kind of a crazy night, right? Like we've got kids running here, there, everywhere. Not at the same times, there's overlap where my husband and I are gonna be crossing paths, kids coming home at different times. So we need an easy dinner that anyone can have whenever they're walking through, right? Um, so typically that would be like a pot roast, right? In like that you would cook all day in a slow cooker kind of a thing. Um, but here's my dilemma, here's my problem. Here's my roast, frozen. Can you hear it knocking? Frozen, solid, okay? So it's uh, two o'clock in the afternoon and I gotta, there's no way this is gonna cook in time. This would take a few days just to thaw out, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my pressure cooker, the Pampered Chef Quick Cooker. I'll show you this right here. And um, the beauty of this is you can still cook your frozen meat and eat at the same, like the same night. It's insane. Um, and typically, you would think that it might be really tough meat, you know, if it's being cooked from frozen. Tell you what, it's not. Anytime I have made any kind of meat in here, it literally falls apart. Stew meat, you guys. That is the toughest stuff on the planet, I think. When I put it in the pressure cooker, it melts in your mouth. It just is mind blowing. So all I'm doing is throwing the whole roast in here. Can you guys hear my dog barking? And then I have all my veggies, my potatoes and carrots and onions, and I'm just gonna dump it all in, just like you would do it in a slow cooker. I'm gonna throw some, what do we have? Better than bullion in here. We'll add that, add some water, a little bit of seasoning, and we'll call it good. So this is our mini skinny scraper, it's so cute. All right, so we'll put this in. Another really great thing about the quick cooker is eggs. If you ever try and do hard boiled eggs, they are a nightmare to peel, especially if they're farm fresh. Like you're trying to peel it, but you have like all of the egg white is a disaster. Like it looks like you rolled it in gravel when you're done with it, right? Cause it's just all tore up. But when you make it in here, they just peel like a dream. It's absolutely insane. All right, so we'll throw a bunch of seasoning in here. I'm just using our Urban Onion Slow Cooker Seasoning with Pampered Chef. All the seasonings are gluten-free, so super easy to work with. I'm gonna take my pot right over here to my sink. Fill it up. I don't know if you guys can see what's happening. There we go. Anything just needs like a cup of water so that it can come to pressure. Um, when you're working with the quick cooker. So that's all I need to do. So let's get this pot going in here. Set it in, put this on. Now, when you're using the quick cooker, it can be hard to know like, well, how long, how long do I need to cook a frozen roast? Really, I don't know. But it comes with this uh, cooking guide, which I love. There's all kinds of recipes in it, but what I use the most, you guys, are these charts in the beginning. So all you do is you look up what kind of food you wanna make and it'll tell you, right? Like here's the veggies um, and are they, are they frozen or are they fresh? And here's how long to cook. So I'm in the meat section here. So we're just gonna go, I've got a beef chuck roast whole, three to four pounds. If this were fresh, it's a 50 to 60 minute cook time. This one's frozen, 85 to 95. So that's it. I'm just going to turn this on for 85 to 95 minutes. It's going to come to pressure, cook that long, and it's going to be ready. So the quick cooker is saving the day at the Anderson's house. Can't get enough of this. All right. Um, so maybe you guys all get your meat out in time and you don't have these problems, in which case you might not need this. But if you're like me and you need to be able to get frozen meat cooked quickly, or maybe even like lentils like i made split pea soup in here and it took 12 minutes normally you'd have to cook that for hours in order to get it done you know um i just can't get enough of this thing so i'll let you see it again goodbye i think one belongs in your kitchen too you'd get a lot of use out of it see you later hey so i just got home and nobody's here because like i said we're running in different directions right now and I wanted to show you um, the food. So I dished up a plate of the um, the roast and the veggies, and I am like 
like look at this do you see how this it just like pulls apart with your finger like it just breaks apart it's so tender and this was from frozen you guys 95 minute cook time and it's just falling apart so good so i'm gonna go so i can eat my dinner but this quick cooker is rocking my world it's so great if you have busy families or just need to set it and forget it it's fantastic okay have a good night